Davis has developed a mobile and modular simulator for urban search and rescue and rescue medicine training and practice, based on rich knowledge from Israel and around the world. The simulator is based on a standard shipping container, reconstructed into an advanced training facility. The simulator can be moved and relocated anywhere. It truly simulates in a real environment what a rescue worker would have to be involved in in searching for, finding, and extracting the victim. It is as real as you can imagine. The interior of the simulator is divided into separate rooms as well as other elements used to exercise cutting, lifting, vision, support and medical aid under complex and changing conditions. The exercise is accompanied by smoke, sounds of injured and trapped people, oscillations and inclinations for work in different angles, for near reality exercising and for mental coping under emergency and stress condition. The realism of dust and smoke and water leaking into the areas in very tight, confined space, that's what impressed me about this uh, platform, this system. It was designed by true experienced practitioners and most valuable is the ability to be able to safely watch them and train them on site. Control room will enable professional exercise management, keeping trainees safe as well as analyzing, debriefing, lesson learning, and improving the operating theory. All those things are as realistic as you can make it, in many ways much more realistic than the training facility that I built almost 15 years ago for the Miami-Dade Fire Rescue Department Service Search and Rescue Team. The they believe this simulator will revolutionize the field and become a significant tool for saving lives in urban disaster areas.